This video was made possible by Skillshare. Learn what you want to learn with Skillshare for free for two months at the link in the description. It's tax season, so as long as you're American, watching this video when it first comes out and choose to pay them, wave one final goodbye to your money. Now, a bunch of other countries also have their tax filing deadlines around April too, but today we're talking about America. Other countries just don't make taxes fun. You see, for example, the entirety of Swiss tax law fits into this measly 92-page document. I mean, what is this, a tax code for ants? The US, meanwhile, has this glorious 3,837-page document chock full of rules, exemptions, deductions, and definitions. And if I learned anything in economics class, it's that the best way to make people do their taxes is to make it really, really difficult and expensive. Or was it the other way around? Who knows? But do we have examples of taxes having weird consequences that we can make a video out of? Of course we do. What's best is that the 3,837-page US tax code is only the main document. There are plenty of other related ones, like the 3,713-page Harmonized Tariff Schedule of the United States. This document outlines what percent tax is levied on different products when they're imported into the United States. For example, cross-country skis can be imported for free, while downhill skis are subject to a 2.6% import tax. Why? Because they said so. What's on this document, whether a number is 2% or 20%, has enormous worldwide consequences that can make or break industries and economies. After that big worldwide war, the second one, West Germany started to really like chicken. European chicken was expensive, while American chicken was cheap. So West Germany bought a whole lot of American chicken, but the West German government didn't like that. They wanted their citizens to eat European chicken so the European farmers would be happy, and so they implemented an import tax against American chicken. And America didn't like that. They fired back with this, a 25% tariff on trucks under 5 tons. That devastated the import market for pickup trucks and vans, which especially hurt Germany given their focus on automobile manufacturing. Nowadays, if you live in the US, just pay attention to how infrequently you see a small truck that is not manufactured by Ford, GM, or Chrysler. If you don't live in the US, just take my word for it. There are not many foreign pickup trucks. This number here is exactly why. It's just too expensive to import foreign trucks, and this is all because the Germans taxed American chicken. But here's the craziest part of the chicken tax. Ford, despite being an American company, manufactures their Transit Connect vans in Turkey, which means that normally they would be subject to the 25% chicken tax as they are light trucks. But Ford imported all these vans as Torneo Connect vans, a passenger variant with back windows and seats. Because of this, Ford only had to pay the 4% import tax on passenger vehicles. But then, once the vehicles cleared customs, they would remove the back seats and windows and convert the vehicles into cargo-carrying vans. Unfortunately, the feds eventually caught on and have started charging Ford the 25% tax for light trucks. At this point, I'd like to encourage you to leave your full opinions on taxes, tariffs, and trade wars in the comments. I'm sure it'll convert loads of people to your political ideology, and even better, it's great for engagement. No matter how sarcastically I say this, people will still do it. But let's pick on another country for a bit. If you've ever seen a building in the UK that looks like this, it's because of taxes. Basically, the idea of an income tax was super unpopular in 17th century Britain, so they tried to raise revenue through other means. This didn't always work out, but in one instance, they taxed windows. The idea was that richer people had bigger houses with more windows, so it was a form of variable tax, taxing more from those who had more. Houses with fewer than 10 windows paid 2 shillings in tax, houses with 10 to 20 paid 6 shillings, and houses with 20 or more windows paid 10 shillings, so that led to all these people boarding up their windows to get out of paying taxes. At this point, there are just so many good sponsor segues, so I'll do three. If, if you, you don't have to pay your taxes, taxes like browser windows, Skillshare has a course because you can get two months of Skillshare, but they call it tax reductions. As it turns out, learning is good for you, and Skillshare is a great place to do just that. They now have over 20,000 classes about pretty much anything and everything. If you're like me, you aren't interested in just some things, you're interested in everything. So if you want to learn about music production on a Tuesday, negotiation techniques on a Wednesday, and sport photography on a Thursday, do yourself a favor and sign up for Skillshare.org. The best news is that you can learn with Skillshare for free for two months only by going to the link in the description.